So let's take the fans through this, Todd. Uh, we're looking at the front of a next-gen car. I'm going to get my little number here. There's 24 bolts on the front window. The ones that really matter, though, across the top and across the bottom. We got one there. Make sure I don't miss any. I see some here. Across the bottom. They're about right here. And there's also some down each side. 12. Basically, there's six up top, six down bottom, six on either side to get to 24. That's the front windshield. Those are the bolts that were not tight on the four car of Kevin Harvick. Don't know which ones. Could have been the bottom, could have been the top, could have been the sides as you look at it. But this is an area that, I mean, back in our days, we would, we would play with the windows to find opportunities to make these cars better. Well, for me, this upper lip right here, if that was able to not be secured, as the Lexan gets hot, we see the cars roll through inspection and they got the umbrellas up, trying to shade them. Well, as you're out there racing, as that Lexan gets hot, it grows and it almost creates like a lip. If you can imagine... It almost get humped between yes. these bolts. And that ends up like a trip. Like, so the idea is to trip the air over the top of the car. And why does that matter? So here's the best way to explain it. So air is coming this way. What happens, it goes up over the car, down the rear glass, hits this spoiler and goes up in the air. And this spoiler is where drag is created. So if the top of the windshield comes up, you want this to go up, kind of get tripped a little bit, and it just doesn't, it really just doesn't get reconnected. So while the air is still probably coming down, remember there's a spoiler right here. So if you kind of miss this spoiler, it creates less drag. That would be an advantage if you were messing with the top of the window, but you brought up, if you allow air in the window at all, it pressurizes the inside. So let's talk about, because you have this opening right here. Doesn't this do the same thing? Yes, it does. That, that's, this is part of the driver cooling package with the next gen car. Okay. Because we had the, the, the exhaust running down the sides, the interiors were getting really hot. They introduced this to, to kind of force some area in the, into the car and force air through it. At speedways, the more pressure you can get in the cabin, in the driver's compartment, the better it's going to be. And that goes, can you pull up here, so these are vents in the rear window. So the air comes in that front duct and it goes out back here. Okay. So there's there's five of them. Okay. So these slots back here, if you can get pressurized air in the cabin, they'll blow out here. Then that air is coming out of this back glass in this direction and that causes kind of the same thing that you had going on where the mm. air is coming up and over. But here it's got air that it's introducing itself with so it keeps going straight. Almost like creating you know, like a little bubble right here. Trying to, it's almost like you put a beach ball here, making the air go over the beach ball. Once again, avoiding this spoiler, because yes. the spoiler is a huge point of drag. Even with the underbody and everything, you're still pulling a billboard. Whether whether it's just trying to trip air off the top, or there's a there's a rubber bulb seal in the composite greenhouse and the w window bolts into that, maybe that's loose, maybe that rubber seal isn't sealed up. You can introduce some of that high pressure air, because this is almost like a spoiler to the front window. This area right in front of it here, especially down at the cowl, it's fairly high pressure air. If I could figure out how to get that into my car, I think that'd be a positive. I'm not gonna point intention. I'm not gonna say it was on purpose. I'm gonna make this factual statement though. It doesn't matter. Intention doesn't matter. If the bolts are loose, the rules secure, the window's not secure, right. it would be an advantage to not being secure. So even if it wasn't an on purpose, purpose and intention doesn't matter. The rule is secure, the window's not secure. For that reason, I, and fine with this infraction. I'm fine with this penalty. Um, I hate it for Rodney. I hate it for Kevin Harvick. I hate it for that team. But at the end, you know, being the sanctioned body is not the most popular place to work, but they have to enforce the rules. And I feel like they, they were right on this one. If they don't, we'll be in trouble because it'll be the Wild West again. And we just don't want to do that. The rule book's written. You have to enforce it.